Hey, what's up guys? Uh, thank you very much for being an electrical. I appreciate that. Now I have this guy here, Habotest. Uh, it's a multimeter, digital multimeter to be exact. Uh, it's really a nice one. Uh, I've held it for, you know, a couple of, you know, weeks. So I felt like I can, you know, really share. If you are interested in buying a multimeter, probably this could be the best. And uh, it's really cheap uh, because this one could go for around the $35, I think. Okay. So, uh, it has got pretty uh, cool function. First of all, it has, you can, you know, test uh, the presence or availability of the power by just using this nano contact. Okay. You have got a flashlight in case you're working in a pretty dark place. Uh, you know, it has got, uh, you're able to, to get a flashlight uh, in case you're working in a dark. Okay. Then the other thing also is that uh, for beginners, you're really able to to be directed because you have got four holes here or ports where you connect your probes while testing different components okay and uh so for example if you uh put here in voltage you have got these lights that goes on to indicate to show you that your probe are going here red and black okay if you go here to semiconductors same if you check this you see that they change okay if you go to the amps now you'll be told where to put just in case you don't know that okay now you see that on the dial you almost everywhere you can test uh frequency now you have a dedicated frequency here uh in percentage okay and uh, then so you test it from here we'll do that then the vo voltage you can you know here where you have voltage you you test in this lot both ac and dc and uh, here you can select uh ac dc okay now here you can test uh mu volt uh ac dc uh here you can check on uh, semiconductors so with the semiconductors here so when you're checking on uh, the ranges for resistance the good thing with this you don't have to select uh, the range for resistors it will just detect it will select automatically if you're testing a mega ohm if you're testing a kilo or just uh, ohm, it will just select itself. Only what you have to do is when you're testing uh, continuity, then you can check there for continuity. And uh, for diodes, you can also just move functions and then check for the diodes. Now, capacitors also are dedicated here and you don't have to change. If you're testing, you know, pico, uh, nano, and micro, uh, so everything will be just indicated there, okay? Uh, then you have temperature. So this dude can also test temperature. Uh, we can look at that quickly. So there, there this temperature uh, probe, okay? It's a thermocouple, so you... You hook in here your probes. And uh, it will read. Okay. And if I try to put this in my mouth. Yeah, around 31 degrees. Uh, so... Whether it's hot, cold, it will do the thing. If you have, you know, you need to test something so quickly, uh, it can really uh, do the job. Okay, then uh, you're able 
if you're testing like you have you need to test your torch okay uh, so here you can test the torch right there uh, by uh, long press this and also okay so once again if you're testing live you can test it in two way if you put it here in live every time you're closer okay every time you're closer to power it will tell you uh, if it's low or high okay uh, alternatively you can test it by uh, press function and you just put here a red probe and you can check so you use one lead and uh, you check so it will tell you that it's live okay uh, just like that now if you're testing uh, like let's go ahead and test okay so if it's continuity it will work uh, that way then if you're testing uh, diodes we can get a diode here quickly uh, so able to test a diode there quickly now if we are testing uh, a resistor so just select resistor and uh, the rest will take care of itself so so that's a one mega ohm uh, resistor let me find something small okay that's 330 uh, Let me see that. 330 ohms. Uh, let's look at this. That is uh, three point uh, six ohm. Okay, now let's see. Check one capacitor here for capacitance. Uh, let's check here. So 24.9, it will count uh, because this capacitor is 22 microfarad, okay? And it will count up to that. Uh, okay. So if you're looking to get uh, a multimeter, 
uh, a pretty good multimeter, but at a cheaper price. I think uh, going for this hobo test, uh, you know, it can be pretty well, okay? Uh, it can be pretty well. So let us just test voltage here. Okay. So let's go for voltage. So you see, that's 193.7, 50 hertz. Okay. And uh, that was loose. Okay, that was loose. Okay, once again. Two hundred and fourteen point eight fifty hertz. Okay, so normally uh, that warm uh, light will be on, especially if the voltage is a bit high. If the voltage is low, uh, it will be a normal light. Okay, so uh, that's a multimeter uh, right there. It has got this. Uh, rugged uh you know fall proof around it which can really protect it okay so if it falls in the field there so i don't think whether you're going to repress it soon because uh you know they think it's pretty hard okay this is just uh some kind of uh, protective case yeah so uh that's it guys uh thank you very much for watching uh feel free to subscribe to like and share if you like the meter uh this meter i bought it on aliexpress uh if you need to get one of those you know feel free to visit their site okay uh thank you very much for watching until next time i'm out